Hello, friends. Here we are for the last time. Your moderator, Koja Shai, for this chat. As I give you my live reaction to the season finale of Mr. Robot, uh, <clears throat> shut down. Where to begin? Okay, so this wasn't as, like, mind-blowing as season two finale, but it was definitely tense. There was a lot of, a lot of twists and turns, a lot of different expectations going on. Um, I, I, I really don't know how to process this season finale. I, I think I'm going to have to, you know, watch it again. I know I've been saying that a lot this season. This, these shows, you know, they're, they're very emotional. They're extremely emotional. And yeah, Jimmy, well, I feel bad for Dom as well. But I think coming here on out that Dom is a person not to fuck with. And here's the reason why. She's extremely principled and extremely competent. And she's as she yelled at basically um, Darlene. She basically stated that you know you've taken you've ruined my life. You've taken everything she basically built for herself away from her, and she, she'll find a way. She's extremely competent. She's gonna be like the best freaking mole ever for the Dark Army. And at some point when it happens, she's gonna turn on everybody. She's gonna she's gonna build her time, she's gonna bide her time, and I think she's gonna stab people in the back. And rightfully so, because they did threaten her family. Don't know when. May not happen in season four, it might happen in season five. It may never happen at all. Maybe she fails. But I do I do expect Dom to get some righteous justice because oh man, did she get screwed. And she was right. She was so right. And that's so wrong. She was right. She was right this whole time about White Rose and the Dark Army and being suspicious of Santiago. And it, it just, it bit her in the ass. She bit her in the ass about not trusting Darlene, really. And just, yeah. So I feel very, I feel very, very sorry for Dawn. But I, I, I just feel that there, there's there's a grit. She was up to the very end. She was like, you're going to have to kill me. You're going to have to kill me. You're going to have to kill me. Until, until Irvin, with the axe, threatened her family. And that's when she, she realized, you know, she couldn't go out. Not only go out with that, but basically the rest of her family was going to go out with her. So she couldn't do that. And that's that speaks to her principles, really. Um, Angela. So Angela had a little Darth Vader moment where Philip Price finally revealed a theory that's been going around since pretty much season two that Philip Price is her true and only father. And <laughs> it didn't quite go as well as he expected, but I have to say this for Philip Price. Uh, he was very sincere. He was a bit humbled, if you will, by Angela and what was going on. But he was very, as always, he was very direct about what it was. He took ownership of his faults, uh, what he went wrong, why he's in her, her life now, and how White Rose is a crazy ass biatch who showed, told her a lie, and why everything happened was because of a pettiness. Petty, so small, is why Angela's basically a, a mass murderer. And Angela. F you know, she's completely crashed rock bottom, wants fucking vengeance, and I think she's going to somehow get it. I do. Whether Philip Price helps her or not, or she does it on her own, now that maybe she has a little bit of access to power and privilege, a little bit more than she had before. But I don't think that Washington Township <laughs> is going to get out of the bay. I don't. And we'll get back to that. Um... But that kind of went as expected. Um, I theorized a lot, a lot of people that, you know, maybe Price is going to die, Darlene was going to die, Don was going to die, and none of those people died. The one person that, eh, maybe some people said that Grant would die because he's going up against Elliot, but I did not expect him to take his own life. Uh, that's shocking. So there goes the end of hashtag Grant Rose. Um, but some great insight into Irvin's character and the relationship he has with White Rose and how he was once upon a time that attache, that person right beside White Rose. So it speaks to a little bit about character of White Rose herself 
and a little bit about Irvin as a little bit layered to him. Um, he's not the kind of downtrodden con man, henchman, fixer person. You know, he was a bit of an elevated status, and maybe he really does have an elevated status. That's why he was able to walk away like he did and basically piss, not only piss off Grant, but ashamed him a little bit. Um, I hope that Bobby Carvel comes back for season four. I think he is, but, you know, nothing is confirmed. Uh, I think he was a great addition. It'd be interesting to see, does he finish his, his novel, what his role to, is to play for season four? And I have some thoughts on what I think season four may or may not be. Of course, it's all going to go to crap, probably. Um, Darlene. That last teaser in bit. You know, she somehow survived this. Uh, she finally got Elliot to reveal what really happened with him and his father in that window and how he jumped out as some people said you know things weren't quite right and it appears that Elliot may have been uh, experiencing dissociative personality very early on in his life which is intriguing um, it might be a family history thing given that we've only seen his mother once um, in the present time and she's catatonic so there might be a history in the family not sure but the fact that he was swinging the bat around, that he had the camera, and that what was in the camera? What was different about the camera? Was there a picture? Picture? Was there an image? What What was going on with the camera? Uh, it'd be interesting to see um, how that breaks down, how that all go works out. I think there's a little bit more, not too much more to reveal about that scene, but I think they revealed everything there there is to know. And it's a key, it's interesting how Darlene is like his memory bank, if you will, of basically his life. Uh, because he's basically er either erased, distorted, or changed, or um, undone things in his life to fit the narrative that he needs to do the things he needs to do. Um, but that last teaser bit where Darlene's walking with, <laughs> walking with the, the 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 lady of the night and dropping herself off at uh, her brother's house and guess who pops up? You know, I thought she was gonna get, I thought you know she's gonna get hit by the car. I thought that maybe she might have pissed the people off in the car and they were just gonna turn around and get her. And then when they came out of the car and the the streetwalker like is like I'm booking it and it, she says all oh, those uh, vatos are coming. And Darlene's just standing her ground, and guess who one of those Vatos was? It was Vera, the brave traveler, back. Oh, he's been gone for two seasons. We've been asking where he's been. You know, is he ever going to come back? And bam, right here at when Elliot is at pretty much his most vulnerable, really. Uh, he's undoing the hack. Allegedly, I'll get back to that. Um, just barely scraped by the, the skin of their teeth uh, out of the dark army. And um, here pops up there. I have no idea what his part's going to be in season four, why he's back. Did White Rose sin for him? Is he on there of his own accord? Because he is a pretty smart person. He's a highly intelligent person, okay? Um, he may be in a bad business. He may be doing stupid things. He may be a bit impulsive, but hes I don't think he's a dummy, and I think he knows that Elliot's probably responsible for the 5-9 hack. Just for the sheer fact that Elliot got him out of um, jail and was one of the ones kind of sort of responsible for snitching on him. Not necessarily for setting him up, but snitching on him, definitely. So maybe Vera's here to see, you know, what's, what's good, if you will. Um, yeah. So there's that surprise we have to look forward to and speculate all the way until whenever season four debuts. Um, so we talked about Dom, we talked about Darlene, Santiago. I know a lot of people have sympathy for Santiago. Maybe they had his mother. Uh, he had all his pictures of his mother in that locked drawer. So I'm assuming his mother was somebody they were going to do something to. Um, and like a good son, he tried to protect her. He even tried to protect Dom. But I think he went about it in a very poorly bad fashion. And that's why he got got. Uh, he was a dick. He was a dickhead, as Irvin said. And uh, Irvin killed him. And now Dom is the mole in the FBI. Um, he, and also, he was, just a, he was just a shit, really. So while I kind of understand why he was in this predicament, they must have threatened his family just as they threatened Dom. Um... I'm not sad he's gone. I'm not. I'm just very sad that Dom isn't in his place. 
I think she'll do a better job than him as far as job wise goes, but she's working for the dark, the dark army and she's a traitor to the country, you know, against all her ethos and things of that nature. I'm not so sure from what we know about Santiago that what he was doing is against his ethos. Um, but yeah. Uh, so he got got no Tyrell Wellick. Not even a hint of Tyrell Wellick in the episode, really. Um, it'll be interesting to see if he ends up becoming the CEO in season four. Because we know Philip Price is going to be out the door. Uh, just from the conversation and the backgrounds that we've been seeing with the uh, martial law, the fact that the Washington Township plant has having a difficult time getting out because there's a, you know, martial law that should clamp down the Coast Guard as the way, and we'll get into that, but the, the Coast Guard has the, the harbors on the clamp down. Uh, things are difficult to get out. You have to be in your home by 9 p.m. Uh, e Corp is considered going to shit, you know, and we have this E coin everywhere. Um, and somehow the 5-9 hack is going to reverse everything. I, I think the, the Lady of the Night kind of hinted to Darlene that's, that's very naive thinking. And it really is. It really is very naive thinking that somehow turning everything back on is going to is, is not an IT solution. You know, turning it on and turning it off is, is not going to fix it. I think it may, it may in fact make things worse. And it may make E-Corp stronger than ever. Uh... What else? I think that kind of covers everything there for everybody else. So, Elliot. Uh, I'm going to say most of my Elliot thoughts for the, the main review, but he's no hero either. And he still thinks he is. He still thinks, even though he accepts and acknowledges that he's responsible for it all. Um, but he still thinks, after he got out of the dark army barn situation that he can still save everybody they can still save everything and yeah dude you're a bad guy you're a bad dude he even part of himself mr Rowe admitted that he would have still gone with the 71 building blow up he's a bad dude and yes somehow because he he himself you know was responsible for those keys <laughs> you know oh my gosh it's just it's just a little crazy it's a little it's a little crazy okay um i don't know what season four is going to bring for him but he still thinks he's going to have the one percent now that he knows about philip price and white rose and who all the players are it's it's like back to the beginning really um but I do feel that even though he has these decryption keys, I'm wondering if it does what he thinks it does. Because I still think Mr. Robot's not an honest fellow either. He's not honest with himself. So it'll be interesting to see. I do find it very fascinating that he came up with a plan on the fly, basically. Or maybe he just had it in his back pocket uh, as a way to beg for his life that he can get the Washington Township plant device um, in one day out, and the solution was to, to use it as a, a back doorway was by, by uh, declaring everything a humanitarian need. That's how it gets everything out. Uh, the plant can get, probably get out in one day instead of a month, uh, which makes me wonder if that's what the timeline is going to be for season four, if everything is going to occur all in one day or maybe a couple days. We'll see. Um, I think Sam Esmail has stated that everything is supposed to occur between 2015 and the beginning of 2016. And we're still in 2015 because we're still in October. Uh, so it'll be, it'll be interesting to see. And they hinted at like a lot of different things, you know, that have happened in real life that have influenced the show and stuff like that. Um, about the hack and all the inside information. So I guess he really did hack the Dark Army. But they seem to think that they can survive all that. Uh, White Rose, I'm not surprised White Rose let Elliot live because, again, she respects Elliot's skill set. And if Elliot's skill set can protect her plant, which has been about this whole thing the entire time, the 5-9 hack, uh, the blowing up the buildings, you know, she had to tell Philip Price twice. It's all about her plant, protecting her plant, um, Elliot's father dying. Darlene's mother dying, messing with Angela, all of it has been about protecting that plant. And the moment he uttered that w those words about the plant and the device, he was either a very much dead man or he was going to live. And if he does, as Leon says, is able to prove and provide the assistance that's needed, then he and his sister get to live. Um, or very swiftly, they're, they're, they're very dead. Um, I don't think there's any way to get out of it. 
The only plus about that whole barn scene is I like the fact that they didn't have him turn into Mr. Robot and be like some super fly ninja guy taking out these people. You know, he, he's always been a talker and things like that. And, and it turns out it was Leon that's taking people out. So I like that. That was very intriguing, very interesting. Those are pretty much all my thoughts. I don't think everyone's going to be satisfied because a lot of theories are going on about, you know, people dying, the solutions, whether, you know, but it's very much gearing up that not even a dark army versus F society so much anymore. I'm, I'm not really sure where we're going to in season four, but I guess we'll see it when the season premiere um, happens. Okay, but so for the giveaway, I'm giving away $20 in Bitcoin. And the winner of that is, hold on, I have it saved, is Maria Isabella Texera. So I will be messaging her, letting her know that she um, is the winner of the $20 in Bitcoin. Um that's pretty much it that's the end of the giveaways i do have some extra stuff um because some of the giveaways some of the people didn't want it wasn't able to reach anybody so i might have like a one last little bit hurrah where um if you want a mr robot t-shirt or a lockpick kit uh, i'll be sending that to some people um i don't know um i might just pick somebody randomly or do it on twitter but uh twenty dollars in bitcoin will be um Maria Texaras um soon so that's it those are my thoughts about the season finale uh shut down it's been an interesting season I can't wait for the rewatch I can't wait for the theories that are going to be going on all winter long don't know what I'm going to be doing for my Wednesdays uh, <laughs> pretty much have like a big huge gap which I I think is good you know allows me to get other interests going and get other things done but this is it. This is the end of Mr. Robot for this year. Um, congratulations to Christian Slater for his nomination for Golden Globes. I'm hoping this time around, you know, not only will we win, but maybe we can get some Emmys going on, especially for the music, the cinematography, the writing, the acting. Everyone was acting their ass off this season. And hopefully some of the ladies this time around will um, get some nominations. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see in this in in this this round of Emmy nominations. But it's been a great season. I'm glad it got renewed. Um, I think things are going to go strong. Maybe, you know, hopefully now USA Network might put it on the Netflix so it can have a wider audience so people can binge this. It's like, what, 10 episodes per season, so it's very easy to binge over the weekend. But, yeah, uh, thank you all for listening and watching and supporting. Um, I will be giving my review um, much quicker than last time. I'm not as sick, so there won't be two episodes or too much of a if in between time but i will be doing a bit of a media blackout because last jedi is coming out this weekend i'm not going to see the thursday midnight slash friday screening so pretty much all that weekend long i'm pretty much going to be dead to the world until i see this see this movie so i won't get spoiled but thank you all so much um and until next time friends rosa shy blogging off